Good morning. So I am Juan Leiva, the head of the mobile solutions team, Knowledge Cube. And today I'm going to present about, about some uh, recent features that were integrated into the next version of the Moodle app that is going to be released in a few weeks, version 4.3. So those were the main sprint uh, goals. Um, the most relevant thing is that uh, we started the QA, QA process and it is going uh, pretty well. Uh, we are still not sure if we will be able to complete the release in two weeks, we hope so. Um, apart from that, uh, we integrated uh, Atomi to our apps portal, not the tool, uh, but the functionality to allow uh, admins to enable this functionality in the mobile app. Uh, because the Matomo Analytics is an integrate, integration with Matomo, it's not that we are hosting a Matomo Analytics in instance, but we are integrating with uh, institutions, organizations, uh, Matomo instances, so they can track users' interactions in the mobile application. Apart from that, um, we are still uh, working in the, in this uh, deprecation that happened. And what we are basically trying to do is to fix the web version we use for development of the uh, mobile application, because some of the technology that we were using is being deprecated, and we need to find a work around to make it work. This is quite technical, but this is affecting uh, plugin developers or uh, people that are trying to create custom styles for the mobile application and they need to use the web version we use. So this is sort of a priority for us. It's not blocking the release, uh, but we need to fix this as soon as possible. Um, finally, it was planned to start working on some support to system reports in the workplace app uh, but we delayed this so to avoid blocking the release of the model app and then we will start working on this or reprioritizing this after the release of the app is complete finally there were some unplanned uh, work uh, but we thought that was uh, really important to fix this because it's solving one of the main issues, problems our users are uh, facing. That is basically the some user friction. The first time they open the app, they don't know what to put in the site address field because a lot of users, they don't know what's a site address or site URL. Um, so in the next slide, I'm going to show a bit of, if you can move. To the next one, Adrian, please. Uh, and click the play button. So this is basically what we did, and it's only supported for now in Android devices. That is um, basically that you know that there is a get the mobile app link at the bottom of the page. If you didn't install previously the mobile application, you see it, this link, and if you click it in it. You are currently going to this uh, page that is a promotional page uh, where you can click the button to install the app from Google Play. In case you are installing from uh, Google Play, uh, we will store the URL. So once the app opens again, uh, you will be automatically redirected to it. We use the ref uh, a functionality that is called the Google Play Referrer. And as I said, this is going to reduce a lot of user friction and help with the onboarding of, onboarding of new users because they will just need to put their credentials. No need to copy the or know what's a site address. Our plan is also to support these for iOS devices, iPhone, iPad. Uh, soon, if we find a way to make it um, Compliance with compliance with uh, Apple privacy policies. 